Hi there guys, Thursday Theory and today if you're not watching this in the private Facebook group you are missing out so head on over to Pip Weekly on Facebook and then come and join our private group for young adults, um, mindset and success, life clarity and career direction. Um, so we're going to be streaming again today, uh, Think and Grow Rich, the 1937 uh, edition, you might think this is dead boring but actually it's a book that should be taught in every school and is dead easy to read um, so no problem at all. So today we're going to be at Actually learning about education and how useful it is because some of you might be feeling um, a bit like I used to feel that um, you can't get where you need to go because you don't have the right education now uh, the beautiful thing about this is um, there's uh, different types of education and the education we learn in school is only kind of really one part of it there's a lot uh, there's another kind as well and it's this other kind that you actually need to get you there so let me read this Education has nothing to do with it. The secret found its way into the possession of Thomas Edison. He used it so intelligently, he became the world's leading inventor, so Edison invented the light bulb. Although he had but three months of schooling, and for those of you who know Edison's story, he was sent home from school with letters to his mum, which basically said that he was too stupid. Um, uh, the secret of the mind was also passed on to a business associate of Mr. Edison. He used it so effectively that although he was making over only $12,000 a year, he accumulated a great fortune and retired from active business while still a young man. It should convince you that riches are not beyond your reach, that you can still have whatever you wish to be, that money, fame, recognition and happiness can had, be had by all who are ready and determined to have these blessings. And then he goes on to um, read um, some of the names. So I'm actually going to read them out to you and see if you recognise any of these people. Um, so most of these didn't have much schooling. So Henry Ford, so Henry Ford um, didn't have much schooling, and basically it was taken to court. Um, Henry Ford Ford motor cars. Um, he was taken to court because he was meant to be stupid, and they couldn't figure out um, why he was basically so successful. Um, he did win the case, by the way. Um, so let's go through some of these as well. Theodore Roosevelt, um, who is a very prominent um, American political figure. We've got Charles Schwab. So Charles Schwab, um, you know, um, if you're in the US, so here in the UK, we have things like Barclays Bank and Halifax and all that sort of thing. Over there, you've got things like um, Vanguard and things like that. So Charles Schwab was um, a really important people person in um, kind of American history in um, amalgamating uh, an idea that came together and um, his idea of amalgamating certain things together um, created this and he's um, I believe uh, also part of to do with the um, American banking system um, so you've got people like uh, John D Rockefeller um, Thomas Edison um, FW Woolworth, if I'm right, um, I could be wrong, but if I'm right, then uh, Woolworths, uh, good old store Woolies, um, you know, where you know you can pick up your bits and bobs. Um, Edwin Barnes, so he um, was the business associate of Edison, he, he was the one who was owning only 12,000 a year um, and basically didn't even have a, enough money for the train fare to get to, uh, to Edison uh, and ended up travelling by um, kind of cargo train instead of passenger train in the end we'll get onto his story in another theory Thursday it's absolutely fascinating you've got people like um, Jennings Randall uh, you've got people like uh, as well like Dr Alexander Graham Bell so Dr Alexander Graham Bell um, invented the telephone um, which is incredible because um, his um, I think it was his mother that was deaf, so he invented something that his family, um, you know, didn't come from inspiration from his family because his family couldn't use it. And um, I think when he presented it to someone, a, a prominent figure, they said, "Well, why would I want to speak to anyone who wasn't in the same room as me?" And yet today, of course, we've got phones in our pockets. Uh, it's come on such a long way, you know. So. I just want to share that with you and this might be a little bit shocking and a little bit difficult to take in um, this book guys if you can get this book is magic it's actually very easy to read um, and Napoleon Hill made it so because he wanted it to make it accessible to the average man or woman on the street so to speak basically people like himself so Napoleon Hill was a young journalist the guy who wrote this and I cannot believe this is not taught in schools um, 
but there we have it and that is Thursday series so let me know in the comments below what you think of education um, did you do well in school and uh, let me know what you think of the current education system and um, most of all the number one question I want you to answer is just yes or no and the yes or no question is are you shocked to learn that you do not need much schooling to be successful are you shocked let me know in the comments below